of this segment that's kind of maybe called everything is not always roses and butterflies <laughs> because right now as you guys know i recently had surgery i'm fighting my way back and everything is pretty chaotic right now and i'm having to really take a dose of the humility medicine that only so much can be done at any certain time and i wanted to express that because i know so many of all of you out there are also going through some challenges and you may think that everybody that you see on on youtube or on instagram is like wonder woman and their lives are always perfect and no 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 Stuart is shaking his head because he has seen the real world behind the scenes and it is not so today here is just a little example of what i'm talking about husband hubs went to the grocery store for me i haven't put all of them away i have stacks and stacks of mail that i haven't attended to um, i have maybe the strength to clean up a few things with with my dustbuster, but not a lot more than that i have all sorts of produce that is waiting for me to do something with from the garden and i bring it in and it just kind of sits here i have dead flower arrangements around that i am waiting to refresh and this is kind of like a cleaned up version of what this looked like just just a little while ago so i wanted to show you this so that you might feel a little bit better if you've got real chaos going on in your life it may be better than this it may be worse than this but we've all been there and it's things like surgery and other kinds of life events that give us a great big dose of humility and but also self-understanding and a recognition of our own limitations one of the things i am dealing with right now that you may be dealing with also is that we are still in extreme drought and i think Stuart, maybe it has rained one time here in four months, yeah. three months, one good rain. The rest of the time it, it has not rained and we've had record heat. And today I think we might be having record winds. And so this is, this is the reality of life and how we can contend with it. So Stuart, I wanna go out into the front yard and show you a few things. Well, if it's chaos inside, it's also chaos outside. The past two days we've had, I think maybe record winds. And we have also, we're probably in some kind of record drought. Now, depending on where you live in Oklahoma, that may or may not be true. But for my landscape, that's pretty much the situation right now. And so I wanted to just give you kind of a glimpse of what things look like when I haven't been out here to tend them and what they can look like when condition, conditions are really, really dry. So it is extremely windy today. It was very windy yesterday. I think it got up to 90 yesterday, maybe 90 today. But I wanted to show you kind of a few things and that's, that's number one, the importance of having pretty good garden bones. So even though I have lost a lot of things, even though stuff definitely does not look as good as I like to think it normally, normally looks in October, it nevertheless is kind of holding its own. And I think there is a message in that is coming up with some kind of landscape that can kind of hold its own when you are not there to tend it. And that is probably the significance and the benefit of, of having good garden bones. But I also want you to kind of just show you some things because I can never resist showing you the less than perfect and, and my uglies. So I had gorgeous pumpkins that were filling these pots, these urns on the front porch. You can see most of them have been decimated and chewed up by squirrels, even though I put some kind of protective spray on them. And this is kind of just a testament to how strong, how strong our winds have been. Because these are pretty heavy to tours. And this one is blown over completely. So I'll put that back in, shade, in place. All of the pumpkins have pretty much been squirrel bit. And this is a, a great example of just recognizing natures and your own limitations. So you guys know I had pretty major surgery recently and I can't keep up with this. It's also been exceptionally hot, exceptionally dry. 
So I like to think that I know when to cry uncle. And so I'm just gonna let them, let the squirrels have their way with the rest of these pumpkins. I'm not gonna put out any more. Um, I'm hoping the good bones of the garden kind of keep the garden looking good despite my, my infrequent interventions right now. It tells me the importance of plant selections that pretty much always look good once they have been established in cases like we're experiencing right now when it is very, very dry. And I'm gonna put up a list of those plants for you. Uh, but I wanna show you something else over here. Now, you guys know that I really at first I was a detractor and now I am a convert because I really adore Encore Azaleas. I've talked about them before. So right now you would be hard pressed on my entire street really to find much of anything in bloom because it's been so hot and dry and now windy. But look, even though the weather has been horrific and we had temperatures up to 115, I've still got some Encore azaleas sputtering out blooms. Now, obviously they are not blooming as good as they would had we had some rain. Um, but even this stand over here has blooms on it. Enough for me if I wanted to, to come out here and clip some things for a flower arrangement and in a less onerous um, fall, late summer, I did a beautiful arrangement with Encore Azalea, Stuart. Do you remember that with Encore Azaleas and apples? We might put up a, a link to that. Um, but you can see that I even have some blooms on these Encore Azaleas, even though we've had one rain in like four months. These are tough plants, my people. I mean, these are really, yeah, these are really tough plants. Now, I will say this, in case you're buying them, um, and we'll put a link to Encore Azaleas. I have lost, I don't even know that I've really lost it, but I only see one that has turned brown, and it's probably because the sprinkler and water couldn't get to it. Um, but all these other ones have fared well. Now, if you're in an area that, like mine, is really hot and dry, I would highly recommend getting the varieties that are a little bit taller, the intermediate varieties versus the ones, oh, there, two, two tour down. Uh, and Jamie, my hubs. But to me, I think that the ones that are a little bit taller are a little bit tougher versus the ones that grow a little bit shorter. So that's, that's my input on that. Uh, but, but I am so impressed at how these have handled. Granted, they do need watering at the base, but they have done pretty well. Um, so that's just another testimonial for Encore Azaleas. And then, of course, if you can get evergreens established in your garden. But again, I'm going to try to put a list together of plants that have really fared well in these really drastically hot conditions. And, and Stuart, I'm going to just stop on... on one other note that I will be putting up maybe a few Halloween de uh, decorations, not a lot, but look, Mother Nature has already done that for me. Ooh. Can you see the great cobweb there? Oh yeah. So if you don't have the energy or the wherewithal to do your own decorating right now, go out and just enjoy what Mother Nature has done in the way of decorations for you. And that would be my question of the day. When you are at your, not at your lowest, but you have certain personal physical constraints, and many of us do at different times in our life, some more, some less, I want you to share with me what kind of things you do to still help you feel like you're in, in the season, in the holiday season, and enjoying what nature and what you can provide for different fall occasions, for Halloween, whatever, that require a little effort, but that you really, really appreciate and that you can take the time to enjoy. Like cobwebs from Mother Nature that looks ever so Halloween-ish or other things you might have coming up in your garden. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update. I haven't been posting as much. Stuart and I hope to get back up posting again pretty regularly, but there's just a little glimpse 
into this very, very, very dry and windy October day. Stuart, let's Good send time. a prayer up. Yeah, let's send a prayer up because I think we're supposed to get some rain tomorrow and that would be something to celebrate. So there you go, just a little snapshot to say hello and we will be back with I think some kind of fun videos for you guys this week. Take care.